So now that the hump is actually finished, um, and the pan is sitting on here at the moment, the seat pan, this is obviously going to be trimmed down just underneath the frame along here. Um, now I've left a section in the center here because I want to tie the two together. Now you don't have to make this seat pan like this, uh, depending on how your bike is and how you actually want to set it up. For me, I wanted to do it in two separate sections. It was a lot easier to release this from the mold and the same with this. Um, at a separate piece rather than having it all one piece, but you can do this all in one piece if you really want to um, There's no reason why you can't uh, You just need to really wax that mold up really well so that when you do release it It will actually pull away, but I wanted to do it in two separate pieces like I said uh, And to tie these two together what I'm going to do is just put a flat piece across here underneath uh, a bit of timber or something and then just run some clear tape across there just so the fiberglass doesn't stick to it and run some wax over that once again and then just lay some fiberglass pretty much up the wall of this and just across here like all of this here is going to be covered in um, upholstery so I'm not too worried about that it's only the side that you'll ever see and the top of the hump so a couple of things that I wanted to keep was um, the flat line between the tank and the seat which would always stay the same depending on however this sat on the frame um, just keeping that flat line and maybe a slight little kink at the back. I've also done a bit of a trim around here to get that completely right and also on the inside of here so that I can get it in and out without having too many dramas. So I've left this to dry overnight. Um, it's as hard as a rock now. I'm going to just run the grinder over it to a few of these little high spots that I've noticed uh, and then run the Bondo or body filler or bog, whatever you want to call it, just up here just to tie in that section. Uh, it's nothing really major, but I'm fairly fussy when it comes to stuff like this and I just want to make sure it's right. So yeah, I'm just going to run a little bit of bog there and then that's pretty much done and ready for paint. While I'm talking about this, I do want to mention uh, another way to do this without going to this entire process of making a mold and then putting this in and then having this be your piece. This is the mold which I have created uh, and put it into this timber frame, but that's basically the mold. So uh, if you wanted to use this as your hump, if you have no intentions of ever making another one, you or if you do, you're probably going to do a different design, then you can use this basically as, I'll put that on there, where it came from. If you wanted to basically create this piece out of like, let's say for instance, you've made the plug, which is the first video, um, like part one, if you make a plug out of foam and then you make this over the top of the plug and then pull the plug out of it and then you've just got this piece which is a hard piece of fiberglass shell you can sand this all back and this can be your piece that you will actually use for the hump i wanted to do it this way for a couple of reasons one because it's the correct way to do it you get a really nice finish and the other reason is because i wanted to show this process from start to finish and help you if you want to do this this way as well. But if you're in a hurry or you don't have the patience to go through this entire stage of making a mold, making this part, and then first before you even start any of this, you have to do the whole plug and get the shape right. Like I said, there is another alternative.
I've now sanded down that Bondo perfectly flat uh, and it's really fixed up those lines that I was worried about the actual curving in of between the actual seat pan and the hump on both sides so I'm really happy with it uh, what I'm going to do is just pretty much run over it with a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol or methylated spirits and uh, I think just give it a coat of black paint and just fill in find any little imperfections that I can I know there's one around here somewhere as you can see it just there I'm not going to worry about mixing up a little bit more Bondo just for that little piece I want to find more of them if there are more then uh, the black paint will find them because I'll spray it with black paint stand back and look at it just as one color the entire bike and uh, see what it looks like and then eventually sand that black paint down till it's pretty much almost all gone and that'll leave all the little indentations or pinholes or anything um, that will just leave the paint behind and then that I'll know what else needs filling it's usually something that the paint guy will do um, but yeah I don't know whether I'm gonna paint this myself or get someone else to do it so for now just put a black coat of paint on it and uh, see how it looks So my very good friend uh, popped in just the other day. It was his birthday uh, and he knew it was my birthday just recently. So he popped in with a couple of beers and with all beers comes good ideas. <laughs> and he was looking, he's a designer and he was looking at this tank and, uh, and he's like, you know what? I know you've completed the hump, but you're gonna hate me right now. What if you were to take those lines that you've got from the tank into the hump? and I was like, man, that's a brilliant idea. Um, I don't know how I'm going to execute it, but the idea is maybe I could um, have this come up, across, and then down, just taper in, and it's only gonna be ever so slight, and then just come down and then just taper it off at the end. Uh, that's, that's pretty much the idea that I had. Uh, I'm not so sure if it's going to suit the tank, but, it is, like I said, it's an awesome idea, but let me know uh, in the comments below if you would like to see that or if you think it'll suit the bike. Like, give me a yay or a nay, like whether you think that it's worth going through the time to actually put that through or whether you think, no, nah, it looks good as is, just leave it, it looks cool. Um, I would love to know your thoughts.